Hi guys, today I'll show you how do we build an UI with Figma's MCP server and Cloud. So here is a guide to it. So this is official documentation from Figma. So yeah, there are some prerequisites that uh, need to be fulfilled before we start this. So you should be on a dev dev seat or professional or enterprise plan. So you can use uh, the MCP server in IDs like VS Code, Cursor, Windsor for Cloud Code. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the example videos. They show how do you set up that. So yeah, also you need to have a Figma's desktop app uh, to it to work. Uh, so yeah, I have just set up a basic project with a React email. Uh, and I'll just show you, yeah, this is how the project look. I've just built one template uh, for my example and I'll just also show you how do we build it live okay yeah yeah so here is my design so what you need to do is uh, now if you go preferences and say enable local mcp server the, the server is started on this thing so we just copy the url just go to our terminal and do cloud add mcp I'll not add this because I've already added I'll just show you once you run this command once you run this command, uh, the server will be up and running. I just go cloud. Yeah, once we have cloud, we can do see what MCP servers are running. So you can see Figma's dev MCP server is running. Okay, how do we build an email template is the question now. Just go to your email template so this is my email template uh says so go to copy link to the selection just copy the link and then come to the cloud and say hey cloud can you build this email template for me okay place the link and say use cloud.md file So it'll just start building the email template for us. We'll just do a tool call and get all the uh, details from that template. So we will generate this uh, whole template for me. It will take some time. So I'll tell you what is the cloud.md file. <clears throat> so if you see, uh, so this email templates are uh, pretty uh, regularly used and we have this header and footer in constant, right? And so to make, make sure that everything is uh, proper and aligned in all the templates, what I've did is uh, I have, so email templates, uh, as you know, right, it, it cannot use the flex and stuff because different email clients has different rules. So I've written always use rows and columns and never use flex. And I've written some properties that are supported uh, in the email clients. So typography should be this, backgrounds and border should be use this color. The images should be something like this. And I've written some rule that should be never used in the uh, email templates. So whenever uh, there is less of hallucination when uh, Claude tries to build this template. Uh, so yeah, these are the things that can never be used in templates. And these are some of the styles that can be reused. Uh, so yeah, font size should be this, this and stuff. And the text should be something like this and font family is this. So how should be the bullets? How should be the dash bullet? How should be the column? Uh, yeah, it, these are pretty much basic styles I've written. And also I've said that, okay, uh, the image, uh, the arrow image in the buttons, we see should be coming from this because it is reused and the table size should be something like this. Uh, yeah, pretty much basic uh, font sizes and stuff that I've written. So uh, I'll also, I've also written here the how best practices for that. It was always a spread operator, semantics, Test in multiple email clients before you do something. Uh, keep it simple. Uh, include letter spacing. 
yeah and also enforce style some rules which are there so you can always write a critical rules which needs to be followed no matter what uh, and also uh, this common header and footer so this is the common header that needs to be used across all the email templates and this is that common footer that needs to be used across all the email templates. i've just made this uh, common here because uh, all the email templates are using it also your cloud cloud md does not hallucinate what to use and what not to uh, this would be helpful in a use case where you have plenty of like 40 or 50 email templates and you just want to build it probably it'll take some two three hours to build all email templates rather than building it manually Yes. Right. Name the template based on the content of the template. I uh, will just see how is this. It says a syntax error. You can just copy paste this error here. Okay. It is fixing the error now. Yeah, it has built the email template for us. So this was our template. So it has built somewhat accurate to it. <clears throat> if you see uh, the icons are broken we can just say that icons are broken please check uh, broken yeah our design is now somewhat similar to the things we have built so yeah, we can also see this in a mobile version so this looks something like this so there might be here and there corrections that you might need to do manually but it does a pretty much accurate job for you so it can boost your work from 80 to 90 percent 